What's up dudes, Max here. Before we get into it, I wanted to let you know about the sponsor of today's video, which is Square Enix and their new mobile game, Near Reincarnation. Taking place in the same universe as the ever so popular Nier series, Near Reincarnation is a free to play and free to download action command RPG on mobile devices with in-app purchases. It's available right now on the App Store and Google Play, featuring turn-based battles that is also the product of a creative development squad, including Yoko Taro, as well as the music being handled by Keiichi Okabe, who you might remember from the previous Nier titles. Also, starting from launch, Nier Reincarnation is going to have a collaboration pack with the very much acclaimed Nier Replicant collab going on until October 7th. Once again, if you guys would like to check out Nier Reincarnation, it's available right now on mobile devices through the Apple Store and Google Play, and you can click on my link in the description below to check it out right now. Uh, this is about to be challenging. We are about to jump onto Marvel 2 and attempt to rate the damn super. Now here's the problem with rating the super in this game. Not all the supers are going to be amazing looking. They really aren't. There's only going to be very few supers that are actually kind of sick in MVC2. And there's a lot of supers. Now this is going to be attempt to be a speed run of supers, because we're going to have to rate like over 200 supers. It's going to be ridiculous. Some of them are going to be utility. Some of them are going to be cinematic and cool. Some of them are going to be basic. And not all of them are going to be great. That's a warning right now. Not all the supers in this shit are going to be great. I guess we'll stick to the Capcom side at the start. And then we'll move on to the Marvel side. Because it's going to it's take a while. All right, Felicia, the one super I know. OK, super one. It's basic, she makes a wave. It's multicolored. Three out of 10. Okay, typical combo cinematic install super. It's like a uh, five out of 10. Now this one's cool because she brings in all the other crazy cat chicks, right? This one I can get behind. This one's kind of neat. I'd actually give this one like a like a seven out of ten or something like that. That's pretty decent. All right, Golden Mega Man. See the big ass crazy Mecha Mega Man. It's not even in his Mega Games. It's just for this game and the previous one. I mean, I think it's cool. I think it's like a six out of ten because he turns into a version of Mega Man that you have never seen before. Beat plane, the mash buttons, and you can drop bombs. It's cute. It's cute, but it's good lord. Is it like a 4 out of 10? Then he's got the drill, which is mostly useless. This one's kind of lame and doesn't have a lot of interactivity. So this is like a, uh, I think the drill is like a 3 out of 10 as well. All right, Captain Commando. First Cap Super. Uh, Captain Sordo. Great looking super for like not having much crazy utility. And the fact that it puts so much shit on the screen from like a high to low angle is dope. They go flying. I give this one like a uh, six out of 10. And then he's got this one. Boom. And then he poses with all his Capcom friends. That one's cool. Uh, I'll give that one a seven out of 10 as well. Not bad. All right, Dan, here we go. What's your amazing super, Daniel? Okay, your amazing super is a lame ass Pew Pew Hadouken. Piece of shit. I give it a 2 oh. out of 10. Sure you rep on. It's lame as hell. It gets a... Uh, uh, it gets a 3. Oh. Give it a 3, Daniel. This one's kind of cool. Trying to give this one like a 5. Decent super. However, however, Daniel has access to a hidden ability. So Dan does... Dan does a self-sacrificing 75% damage level three. I like it, right? I think it's I think it's dope. It's a crazy demon super. I honestly give it like an eight out of 10. I think it's kind of cool that he gets this. Of course he has, there we go. Of course Dan has his, has his bullshit. Of course Dan is still on his bullshit. That gets a nine out of 10 for no reason at all. No reason at all. Guile time. 
I do like that the spinning blade on Guile's super covers around his body. So I'll give it a five out of ten. Uh, bram, bram, bram. This one's pretty cool. I honestly give this one like a six out of ten. And it has some neat utility to it, too. Shoots a bunch of blades up into the air. Yeah, I think this one's actually one of Guile's best supers. This one's pretty neat. I don't know if I love it. It's interesting that it's like air only. I think it's all right. I, I honestly think it's like a six as well. It's only okay. Uh, all right, my boy. Cactus super number one. It's goofy and it's weird. I'll tell you right now, it's goofy and it's weird. But I get it. I give it a seven because of it. Okay. And if I mash it, get a shit ton more. Vine Super is kind of neat too. I give Vine Super a six out of 10. All right. So Ryu, the basic, most basic bitch in the world, he gets the Beam Super. And that is the hardest three out of 10 I've ever seen in my life. Uh, Tatsu Super. This is arguably one of the worst supers in the game. It sucks. Um, and it also is like a three out of 10. It's hella basic. And then... He gets Shin Shoryuken, and it's most likely the least impactful Shin Shoryuken ever. So I'm gonna say uh, the Shin Shoryu gets three hits plus one. I give it a four. The other two supers are pretty bad, man. All right, Sansan. -san. This one's definitely weird and goofy. I'll give this a five out of 10. That's a big, crazy looking pole. This one's pretty crazy, man. The monkey does a bunch of different things. Spits, punches. That's pretty dope, right? I like it. Uh, I give that one like an eight out of 10. Here we go. This shit is pretty funny, man. Uh, I think the super is pretty goddamn hilarious. She turns your ass into a big ass strawberry. Oh, it's a melon from further away. And you can see the pow. There's the melon. I was about to say, I've seen a melon somewhere in here. I'm gonna give it a uh, an eight. I'm actually giving it an eight. This chick's got some weird ones. Here we go. Here's the big one. Damn. All right. I kind of like it. So I'm gonna give it like a six. It's a six. I think this one's great. This one's getting an eight. She is drowning you in a pool of her own tears. Wow. Jesus, look how freaked out the dog is. Look at, look how scared the dog is. I like this one. I think this one's like a nine actually. I'm gonna say this is a nine out of 10. I wanna see it again. Scared dog out of 10. How angry she looks. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Nine out of 10. Ken gets his very tried and true supers in this game. Very similar to all his versus game iterations. He does get a kick super, which is nice. Sorry, you Repa, low damage, but good utility. All right, it's a five out of 10 in the most basic. Ah, oh, that's like a four out of 10. I'm changing my mind already. Then you get Shinryuken. Shinryuken definitely is worth like a six. I just love the way this super looks in the Versus series. It looks badass, this giant pillar of fire. I like that one. And then the kick super. This one's pretty cool. I'd give this one a six as well. I think it matches with uh, Shinryuken. It's cool looking and it's a cool like combo super, but it's not like amazing. Charlie, he's got this super where he throws a whole bunch of Sonic blades and you can run after and follow up. It's actually really good utility, but it doesn't look super cool. Um, Three out of 10, respectively. Most basic of like, you know, tactical punch combo supers that you kind of get. So it's, you know, a five out of 10. And whatever I gave Guile before, what did I give Guile before? Akuma time. Akuma is pretty similar to Ken. Go Shoryu. 
Whatever I gave Ken's is the same thing there. Was it like a three? Oh. Might have changed, but it's a three. Basic beam super that's even shorter, so that's even worse than reuse. It's like a two. Uh, do you get this? Oh, he does. I'm kind of partial for this super, right? I think this super is kind of cool. You know, so I give this one like a five. I've always liked the Kuma with his like, you know, crazy uh, uppercut Tatsu super. And the demon in this game is kind of weak, man. Demon in this game is a little weak. Still, it's a demon, so I give it like a seven, but it's not that great. And then, air fireball super. I just like seeing Akuma chuck like a billion fireballs. So this one does it for me a little bit. I'm gonna give this one like a five out of 10. All right, so Geef. Yeah, he does this, like, spinning one during his team super, which is pretty damn lame. It's like a 2 out of 10. However... Not bad. Not bad. I give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Oh, that one's even better! This one's even better. Damn. Ugh, ugh, ugh. The reverse one's better. The reverse one's like an 8 out of 10. I like that one a lot more. There we go. Okay, so Mecha Zangief. Very uh, crazy version. He only gets one different super, I think. It's neat that the screen shakes. I guess we could rate it because it is an install. Um, but damn, that's like a 3 out of 10 install. You know what I mean? Oh, he gets that. I see. Nah, this super's okay. I'll give it like a 4. You know? But damn, those other supers from him are super good. Holy hell. Uh, okay, Ruby Heart Super 1. This is a pretty good super in the game, actually. It's hard to control. Very weird. It's okay. It doesn't look great. There's a lot of supers in this game where characters just have, like, a bunch of energy around their body and they fly all over the place, so... I don't know. It's like a it's like a four, four out of ten. And then there's this one. Damn. Ignore that the ship was cut off on the left. Um Cool. Uh I like that one a lot. I give that one like a seven. The cutoff isn't great, but don't worry about the half a ship missing, because that doesn't doesn't count. Two before four by three game, okay? Uh, and then she got this one. That's a bunch of crazy ghosts. I don't know what the ghosts actually do. I can't actually tell you what the ghosts do because I don't remember. Ghost super is like, uh, it's like a four. Okay, so this super is weird. Hold on a second. Did I, did I screw it up? I think I screwed it up. No, you don't mash this one out. You have to pick. You have to essentially choose between top or bottom. It's 50-50 every time, I think. I think that's this super. It is a mini game super where you get four knives that barely do any damage. Is it kind of cool though? It is. I do appreciate weird mini game supers, but the fact that it sucks is a bummer. We're not doing it based on that. This is a cute super and I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10. I think it's cool, but I don't think it's amazing. Okay, Hayato. All right, all right, all right, all right, I see you. Luke Skywalker over here. Okay, that's the most basic combo super, so like a 5 out of 10. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, big beam pillar super. All right, that's like the same exact rating. Like a, uh, let's give that one a 4 out of 10. So, um, neat, right? And in this super, you get infinite supers. Yay, I got supers, I get more supers. So it's a, it's a cute gimmick, right? It's a cute... It's a cute gimmick super, so it doesn't really do anything, so it doesn't look great. It's like a three, because it's just, oh, I, I you ground burst in the air type shit. But if it hits the opponent, you get infinite supers in that time frame. See, I don't even know what the hell he's wearing. He's wearing like his casual wear. This is a really cool super, man. I think this one's dope. I give this one like a nine out of 10. To me, it's like a way cooler version of of, um, of, of a demon. All right, Sim, uh, here's the first one. I think you can actually control it. I can aim it down. 
Yeah, you can actually aim it in a variety of directions so I can go. It's blowing fire. It's a 4 out of 10. This one's kind of neat, right? I don't hate this one. I'll still give it like a 5 out of 10. It's not the worst thing in the world, but that's about it for Dalsum. Here's Jin's shit. Uh, Mega Punch. So, Bloody a Punch. Sick looking, right? I've always liked this super a lot. I give it like a 7 out of 10. It's, it's so dope that Jin hits you with his robot. Here's the other one. The, the graphics are all cut off because obviously they weren't designed for 16 by 9. Neat, right? I think that one's actually kind of dope. I think it's another 7 out of 10. Then he's got... Weird Tornado Super. All right, this one's like a 4. I think this one does the most damage of them all. Flump but is still like a, uh, a four. Uh, an Acris. Damn, you could really mash the snakes. Holy shit, that was 62 hits. Uh, it's kind of cool looking, right? Spits all these crazy ass snakes at you and you control each snake with each button. Neat. Six out of 10. Oh, this thing, this goofy thing. I don't think I control this. I think this just happens. Doesn't it even combo? It's a little, it's a little goofy. Uh, it's like a four out of ten. Wow. Okay. A uh, lot, lot to absorb here. Hits you with all the elements, and then the fat boy. I'll give that one like a a six. That's a big bonk in the end. What the? What the? I mean. Yeah, motherfucking yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 okay. It sucks it's not comboing, but I, I love it, right? I think this one's actually incredibly cool. You you get turned into a boss fight. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> uh, this is a 10 out of 10. 100%, this is definitely a 10 out of 10. That's the first 10 out of 10, boys. That one was actually kind of sick. So here's T-Bone's first super. Uh, does this one actually change depending on mashing? That was 41 hits. No, you don't have to mash that. I want to remind myself that so I don't have to like strain my wrist and shit. Um, that's an okay super. It's like a 5 out of 10 in my opinion. Okay, cool. She just sends out the, uh, the Koboon. Gets big and beats your ass. Literally just as a bigger version of the tiny sprite. This one's okay. This one I give like a 6 out of 10. Alright, Sakura time. Sakura's weird because you got this super. What I was thinking of. I think I was thinking of. Well, that's like a typical 5 out of 10 combo super. This one. Yeah, she shoots fireballs up. I actually love the way her, her super looks. These big ass fireballs. I actually kind of love that. So I'm going to give that like a 5, right? Also a 5. I do like the little flash in the end, like the little flourish where she does the spin Tatsu super and then combos you at the end. It's like better than Akuma's, so. I'm gonna give it a... Well, I don't know what the hell I gave Akuma's, but she gets a seven? And then, here we go. So Sakura turns into Dark Sakura, which is a, a different character, technically. She has different fireballs. She has different, like, slightly different moves and shit like that. So the fact that it, it turns her into a different character is kind of sick, in my opinion. So I gotta give it, like, a seven out of ten, because it's neat that it technically turns her into, like, an install, and it creates a new Sakura out of it. So what are her supers like? She gets a traditional Ryu Beam Super, which is the most generic uh, 3 out of 10. Sakura gets a Raging Demon, because why not? It's a Raging Demon. It's not much different than Akuma's. It's I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it is uh, a, a crazy version of Sakura doing it. All right, Morrigan. I've always liked Morrigan's Fireball Super. Unfortunately, it's always been insane trash. It's always like the craziest, slowest startup. But I think it's like kind of a cool beam super, right? I think it's like at least a six out of 10 beam super. Anyway, there's this. Slightly better combo super. So I'm gonna give that one a, uh, a six out of 10. Not, not bad. And then her, her DP super where she summons Lilith to whoop your ass. Um, all right, that's like a 5 out of 10. It's cool that she uses Lilith. Slightly different, slightly different aerial version. Still, I give it maybe a 5 or a 6. 
I don't know. I don't know. Say a five. So Lord Bipson. Uh, it's a pretty unique version of Bison in this game. Marvel versus Capcom Bison is kind of nutty. He doesn't get Psycho Crusher here, but Psycho Crusher is here. That's right, they did this with Alpha Bison where they like put all of his moves into his supers. That's kind of a weak ass Psycho Crusher, man. Psycho Crusher is a cool move, but this is like a four out of 10. Damn, okay, now hold on. The fact that this dude turns into three versions of himself for some reason is, is dope. Why triple? I don't know. I don't know. I have no answers for you why he turns into three bisons, but you know what? Those three bisons just gave it a seven out of 10. I don't know if you can even combo into this one. Interesting, I wish you could like move around while doing something with it. Yeah, you can't really combo into it. It's still only okay. It's like a five out of 10. Cami time. Okay, most basic, uh, like big drill kick super. It's a three out of 10. This. Yeah, they gave, damn, they gave, they gave dude went flying. Kind of neat. I, I give it like maybe a, a five. I do like the way it launches your ass across the whole screen. That's pretty impactful. Lock on. For some reason, they gave Cammy Maximum Spider. Okay. Maximum Spider is like a 5 out of 10. Okay, so Strider has got one of the best uh, level 1 supers in the game. Right, he can uh, hit your ass with orbs. And he can uh, combo after him. In terms of uh, utility and cool factor, it's like a, like a 2 out of 10. That's a big ass two out of 10 super. Here's a big flashy one. Cats and dogs. This super has always sucked, man. This super has always sucked um, to actually use, but it is cool that he summons a whole damn zoo. So that's what usually what people call it. They call it the zoo. Uh, this is five out of 10 in terms of visuals. And then his actual good super, yes. Sick. Uh, Ragnarok's dope. I've always, I've always kind of liked it. I give it an eight out of ten. I don't think it deserves more, because um, of the old ones. It's not nearly as flashy as Ragnarok and Marvel Infinite and Marvel Three. Uh, still really cool though. All right, so Jill. Remember that thing before I said about characters just flying around with energy around him? For some reason, Jill can do it too. She just turns into an aerial fireball. For some raisin, charging stars is the joke. Yeah, we, we looked this up when we did our video on Jill. So it's like a four out of 10. This super is uh, kind of unfortunate, but still cool looking. I would love for this super to actually be good, but good Lord, does it suck. I don't know why it does so little damage and it leaves her so unfortunately negative, but it's really cool looking. I, I love the fact that she pulls out a big ass rocket launcher and messes you up, man. To me, this is like a seven out of 10. I think it's actually kind of a cool beam super, quote unquote. And then. Jill like ducks for cover. Tyrant busts out of the ground and wrecks you. To me, this is a 10 out of 10, right? And what makes it a 10 out of 10 is this part. There we go. You can, for the final hit of the super, you could spend an extra meter and do fireball forward heavy kick and nuke Nemesis. For the longest time, I did not even know this existed. I couldn't believe it when I looked it up. I was like, what the hell? It doesn't do a lot of damage. And it costs a whole extra bar, but the explosion adds a little bit more. So if that was the thing that ends up killing the opponent, oh my God, would that be super sick? So I think like with all those elements combined into the super, this is an absolute 10 out of 10. How badass is Jill in this game? Um, roll. Five out of 10. Three out of 10. 
I just get all of Mega Man Super. Whatever the hell I gave that earlier at friggin' three as well. And then Surf Bot. Ah, 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 motherfucker, look at his face! Okay, so yeah, this one you just uh, beat the shit out of him. I love this one. I like that you can control it and he looks insane. I give it a nine out of 10. Wow, that goes on for a very long time. It goes on so long. Six out of 10. That's right. I need to be another uh, version of the character. One of my supers changes depending on what assist I use. And there it is. There's the different super. Yeah, so depending on your assists, you get this one. So this super is interesting. See how much damage it does? Like almost nothing. It's on block. It does almost the same damage. Anyway, based on the super's merit by itself, it's cute. It's like a five out of 10, right? It's like Legion. It doesn't really do much more than that. Well, that's weird. How weird is that shit? I don't even know if I've ever even seen this super before. Six out of 10. So Mero is easily one of the best animated characters in this game. But she was a brand new sprite to the game. This, she's so weird, man. Really don't know much of where like Mero comes from, if not the Marvel history that she's in. That's a weird super. I give it a six out of 10 because it is impactful. That's for sure. Sugar cane. Sugar cane, or whatever the hell this thing is. Uh, it's neat. It's like a four out of ten. What a weird character. All right, Chun-Li time. I've always liked the super from Chun a lot in uh, the MVC series because it's unique to MVC. Big ass orb around her. Um, this is also a six out of ten. Pretty dope. Multi kick super from Chun, which is like your staple. Probably a five out of ten for that one. That's pretty basic, man. This is just like a normal move. Stuck into a stuck into a super move. That's like a three oh. out of ten. Nothing too special. Shuma Garas. Chaos Dimension is kind of a dope super because you have to activate and then touch their ass. Zoop. Seven out of ten. Good damage too. This is some weird shit right here, boys. Uh, so orbs are kind of crazy and weird. Uh, it's still like a four out of 10, like a Legion super. Thanos time, you got bubbles and you got this. All right, that's pretty, pretty mad basic, dude. This big ball super is a big ball three out of 10. Reality's kind of neat. I give that like a five out of 10. It's cool. This one's kind of cool. I give it a 5 out of 10 as well for space. Summons a bunch of rocks and then sticks them on top of your head. And then... Soul literally gives you the suck. Pretty lame. That's like a 2 out of 10. Cyclops! I've always personally just loved this super. Behold! Like, damn. Whoever told him you should scream out, Behold my optic blast! Sick. This was like the super that made you realize you're like, oh man, this game's different. We're just gonna fill the whole screen with a giant beam. Um, for a beam super, it's like a six out of 10. We're just being a basic ass beam. This was like the first games that were like, hey, you get to fill the whole damn screen with a super. And to me, that was like pretty sick. Then there's this one. You can aim this in a variety of directions. You can do it on the ground, you can do it in the air. And this is his obviously better super. Uh, and this one's okay. This one's like a four out of 10. I do love the poses that Cyclops makes when he uh, shoots his beams. Bone Wolverine. Oh shit. So Weapon X, yeah, all, Weapon X is always a great super. It's like a seven out of 10. It's just the nature of the situation. There it is. Typical like three out of 10 Wolverine super, you know what I mean? So regular Wolverine is, uh, got the same shit, right? Slightly different sound effects for his seven out of 10. Also another like, uh, oh, that one, I guess I, I could be fair. It's like a four out of 10 for his multi-chop super for his Berserker Barrage. It's this one. This is obviously 
the, the lamest super. He just gets fucking fast. It's like a two oh. out of 10. In other games, it's cool what, what it leads to, but Jesus, is it a two out of 10 in this game? I'm gonna give it a oh. one out of 10, actually. Screw that shit. And then, uh, this has always been a weird super to me. I think they introduced this in Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. Emanates energy and shit. Whatever, man. That's a five out of 10, I guess. Uh, War Machine. Well, they changed the super a little bit in this one, right? He gets missiles instead of the big beam. That is definitely five out of 10 beam super. So then he's got the big one. This is a really sick super. I gotta give it to him, right? This is definitely a leg up over Iron Man that War Machine gets this super. Geronimo, uh, six out of 10. Iron Man just gets the proton cannon. Proton Cannon does have a lot of impact in this game. I think Proton Cannon, for the sake of it being a beam super, is like a... Whatever we gave Cyclops, right? This is a great beam-ass beam super. Holy shit, it looks powerful. It looks crazy. It looks beefy. That gun is shooting, man. Psylocke super. She has a couple of pretty flashy ones. You know, pretty friggin' flashy. She can do them in the air, too. This one's okay. I think this is like a 6 out of 10 kind of super. Another big, like, spin him up in the air and go upwards type of super. That looks really sick, though, you know? I give that one, like, a seven. I actually really like that super. She gets a butterfly super, and this is her most, uh, biggest utility. Butterfly super's dope, right? I think this is actually pretty cool. I still have six out of ten, not amazing, but it's pretty cool. Silver Samurai. That's a lot of big shurikens. Kind of lame, though. I think that gets a 3 out of 10. Three shurikens for a 3 out of 10. Ah, uh, now I have lightning. Okay. And I get lightning again. God damn it. Lightning again. Ice. How about fire. I think fire is the only one that, you know, really leads to something. Anyway, all these elemental things are like a one out of 10. However, they do different shit. So if I do the fire one, I can do this, which is pretty sick. I actually like that super a lot. I'm gonna give that a seven. Or yeah, the electricity one leads to his best super, right? Which leads to this. And this shit's actually amazing for punishing assists. You get it up close. Really good. Ice does what? Cool. Definitely a three out of ten. Oh, he running. That's he doesn't even have that super normally. Okay, it's like a five out of ten super. I think it's kind of neat that he runs across the whole screen and keeps hitting you. Saber tooth. This is a better version of Wolverine's Berserker Barrage, in my opinion. Less feral, more powerful, because this one, obviously, Sabertooth is a big shithead. So that's like a six or a seven? Uh, Sabertooth's Weapon X is badass. This is definitely a seven. Damn, that goes fast, dude. I might actually give the one an eight. I think that one's super dope. There it is. Birdie shows up and shoots the shit out of you. Can I mash it? I think I actually can. 32 hits. I think Birdie Super is kind of sick. I think, I think Birdie should be incorporated into more of Sabretooth's gameplay in general. But still dope. I think Birdie is like an 8 out of 10. Here, here it goes. Can I hit it on the first try? Oh, damn, man. That's a that's a low one. So Cable's Hyper Viper Super, I think, is kind of sick because you can change the direction of the beam. If you wiggle it, it goes in a wide variety of directions and you can actually change the way it goes. But the reason this super is special, quote unquote, is for this. That's the reason that's super special, is that you can snipe assists crazy hard. And if they call an assist, you can just be like, BAM, motherfucker! One of the biggest utility supers ever. But still, it's like a six out of 10. He does have another super though. He goes through time and beats your ass. Kind of dope. 
Kind of dope. Uh, I also like to give that super a uh, 6 out of 10. Not bad. Oh, it's going to be short for Iceman, boys. Arctic attack! I mean, neat, right? It's a neat super. Iceman's like one of the easiest characters to play in this whole damn game. Um, Arctic attack's kind of lame. It's like a 4 out of 10 kind of super. And that is the only super this guy gets. So Gambit's got some cool supers. He's got this one. My boys love this one, man. You just see all the cards lining up as he's getting smacked around. It's always been a sick super. I, I give Gambit's a uh, card super, which is technically a beam super. Like an 8 out of 10. I just love the way this shit looks. Uh, how about this one? This is a really cool super, too, because it, it clears the whole screen. It practically goes full screen. So to me, that one gets like a 6 out of 10. It's cool looking. Capitan. Stars and Stripes is just the usual uh, Shoryu Repa super. But it looks great on Cap, so I give it like a 4 out of 10. This one. Charging Star goes through almost friggin' anything in the game. Almost anything, not everything. Also, a, maybe a 5 out of 10. Big one. The pacing of Final Justice is so good. This one is like a, uh, a 9 out of 10, right? I think Final Justice has always been great in every single version it's ever been in. Ugh, bam! Sick. I, I just have a personal infatuation with uh, with Final Justice that I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. Blackheart, I always forget what the hell his supers are. Armageddon is a really cool super. It sucks that it's kind of hard to get it to work. You have to be like right up your ass, but I, it's badass, man. It summons all these meteors and shit. Um, I give it a 7 out of 10. And he's got this one. Hell portal. This one does a lot of damage. All the demons beat your ass. Uh, give this one also a 7 out of 10 as well. He's got demon spit out of his chest. This one's kind of lame. This is like a 4 out of 10. Well, this is the same as the other one. This is like a 3 out of 10. Jesus. It's the uh, same thing, but slightly different. 3 out of 10. Here's the, uh, the maximum spider. The one we always talk about, but we never get to see all the time. You see Maximum Spider on all these other characters that aren't Spider-Man. But Spider-Man started the super. And it's alright. It is a uh, genuine 5 out of 10 kind of super. However, he's got some cool ones. Kind of neat. That's like a 6 out of 10. It's okay. And he's also got this one. It's okay. I think that one's kind of lame. Feels like a 4 out of 10 and not really the usual 5 out of 10 like combo heavy supers he get. A juggernaut. Oh boy. He's got the one super. Cool. It's neat, right? This is a usual 5 out of 10. Spiral. That's definitely not the super you see a lot with her. That's for sure. That's a solid 3 out of 10. 3 for each row of swords she throws at you. I didn't even realize she had a power-up super. This is what I was looking for. This one just makes her faster. What the shit? I didn't know Spiral had all these supers. Look how quick she's moving. They just give her like extra damage and shit, I guess. So, I mean, they're like a one out of 10. Absolute one out of 10. Then you get this one. And this shit is badass, man. Oh my God, this shit is badass. She literally turns into like almost all the Marvel characters in the game. Does she actually turn into all the Marvel characters? 27? It is everyone, isn't it? Super dope. 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Yeah, it's slightly different. And she doesn't transform as much, it looks like. Slightly different. Still the same. Actually, I get the one a 9. The other one's better. The other one is just way better. Colossus. He gets Iron Body, which is just, you know, he can't dash anymore, but he's a big boy. Um, this is lame. It's like a 1 out of 10. And the other one is a, uh, this is like a two. It goes up and down. So it's a one and a two. Magneto. The magnetic shockwave is like kind of a better version of Gambit Super because it goes further, right? It travels actually longer, which I, which I appreciate. So that's like seven out of 10. And he gets this. This is a very good super, but it looks kind of lame. It's like a 3 out of 10 visually. Uh, Venom time. This has always been a dope super, right? That's a very solid 7 out of 10. And then uh, he's got this one. Combo it the exact same way you do in Marvel 1. This one's cool because the longer the screen space, uh, the longer it goes. It's, it's good. 
but it's only like a five out of 10 in my opinion for that one. All right, doom time, boys. So uh, finger lasers gets two different variants. Grounded version. Um, this is called photon array for anyone that knows it's not finger lasers. The aerial version. Um, and yeah, finger lasers is what it is. It's a beam super. It's like a three out of 10. It's also got photon blast. This one's cool, but it's really shitty in damage. Sphere flame, sorry. It's okay, it's like a four out of 10. And then he's got this one. This is the super he loses in Marvel 3. I always thought this super was cool because it chips out. Feels like it does a lot of damage. It's like a four out of 10 for me. Here's Rogue. Uh, her main super is. Definitely turns into a six out of 10. Um, a, a six out of 10, like generic combo super. Because the kiss in the end gives you a power up, right? That's important. That's important. Does she get any other supers? One during this. But it's not really, that's like barely even worth rating. It's like a, the most generic, just this, but more like two out of 10 kind of super, you know? Hulk gets some big shit. He gets this. Ugh. This one's good, right? This is good. This is a solid like six out of 10 super. It's this one. It's a pretty lame like three out of 10. Look at that shit go. Damn, boy, look at that shit go. That's awesome. When you get all the hits like that, that shit is amazing. I love it. I love it. That's super cool. I get this one like a uh, seven out of 10. Let's go for a big one. Mega Destroy has always been a good super if you land it up close. Does a, a good healthy chunk of damage in this game. That's a healthy chunk. Cool looking. I like the fact that it, uh, it does uh, its shit everywhere. It's like on both sides and everything. I give it like a six out of 10 though. Pretty neat, right? It's not, the only thing that sucks is that you can't really combo into it. But I think it's great. I like I like the characters that incorporate their specials and something something like that and not just like punch the hell out of you. But it's still, you know, a six out of 10. He's got a couple of six out of 10 supers and it is what it is. All right, storm time. The best super in the game does good damage. Knife's assist hella hard, sets up for DHCs. And I hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate everything about it, and I hate what it stands for. I hate what it is. I hate this fucking super. See it so much. It's so good. Three out of ten. Lightning storm. Lightning attack is not that much better. It is like a four out of ten. Let's not waste sweet time. One of the best supers in the game. One of the best goddamn supers in the game. And it is a two out of 10. It's so bad. It's so lame. So he gets this super as well. And it's pretty lame. It's pretty lame. That's okay damage though, but it's like another four out of 10 kind of super. Then he gets the, uh, the aerial version. Hard drive and that's even lamer. Oh my God. Even more lame. There's a couple of them that definitely were standouts. I think that Hayato had a really damn cool super. I think we discovered that Anakaris has also a badass level 10 super. Turns him into a boss fight, which is incredibly friggin' cool. Jill, unshockingly, has also an absolute amazing super. Dan's got a great super in his raging, his crazy raging demon. There's a few of them. I think it's funny that not a lot of the X-Men get crazy, ridiculous supers. I think it's weird that the majority of the best supers in the game belong on the Capcom side, and the X-Men characters mostly get a lot of the stuff that they had from previous games. Oh, I'm sorry. Spiral was definitely the one that was the other 10 out of 10. Yeah, she, she, she genuinely had a great one too. I almost forgot about Spiral. So yeah, there's a few good supers in this game, but for the most part, there's not a lot of amazing ones. Since this game was absolutely a port of so many other versions of characters from other games. Some are definitely better than others. There's some to definitely talk about, but man, there is a whole shit ton of two to fives out of this game. Anywhere between a two to a five is pretty much what the majority of supers are in MBC2, which isn't a bad thing because the game is mostly about figuring out stuff to do with those supers, so. That took a while, man. Holy shit, that was like a couple of hours. Oh my God. <laughs>